In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a minimum of $3,000 every single month by learning one high income skill. And you can be in any part of the world as long as you have an internet connection and a phone available to use. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. I'm gonna go over some case studies just so you guys know that you know I know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, this is a screenshot of my, my own Stripe account back in July where I hit a record month of $11,700. And I wanna be transparent and not mislead you guys. Not every single month looks like this, but I am and partnered with a really strong offer in the coaching space. So opportunity like this exists. And more or less every single month, I'm usually hitting about $8,000 being an appointment center. This right here is the man himself who I am partnered with. This is Jeremy Pogue. He is actually one of the biggest leaders in the coaching industry, has a business coaching offer and uh, helps other coaches. And you can see this is us in uh, Tulum, Mexico, where we were staying at a villa for his client retreat and met a bunch of other different coaches there. And uh, that's exactly why, honestly, I have such a big network of people who have existing businesses is because I put myself in this position and luckily, you know, they're reaching out whenever they need setters now. So, and the next picture that we have here is Jeremy's Stripe account um, for exactly the same date when I had my own record month where he hit $217,000. Um, right here, it's 203, but there was some wire transfers outside that uh, I just didn't include. But yeah, proof is in the pudding there, guys. And here is a screenshot of one of my students that I actually have in my appointment setting coaching program. His name is Calvin. He's from Chicago was only making about $800 having to work at a local gym. And uh, we got him onboarded onto a really strong offer that he has a very good opportunity to make a ton of commission there. This was a screenshot from when he very first got his a commission check. Uh, it wasn't even commission. It was getting paid for the training and that's not always going to happen. But um, yeah, it's just me asking him like how his first taste of the internet money was. And um, yeah, he told me it feels fake. So that's a realization that some of you guys are going to have as well as you kind of just get to the point where you realize money is fake. And um, yeah, here's a message he sent me as well. Uh, he said, still find it kind of crazy how this whole thing happened. I was literally going down the YouTube rabbit hole of making money online and found your channel. A couple of months later, I'm in a legit position with a great offer and leaders. So that's what we do around here, guys. We put you guys in legit positions and you can see here, here's a screenshot of all four of us on that call. And, and don't mind me, I am like a little bit overweight here and I'm wearing glasses, didn't get a haircut. And uh, yeah, I had to show up to the call like that, but he's in a really good position now. And here was a little message from Tom, uh, kind of acknowledging that we you know, partnered together and onboarded Calvin onto his coaching program because they have a goal of hitting $75,000 in November and December. Here's Dylan, a sales coach who um, I hopped on a couple of calls with him and just really made sure his appointment setting process was completely dialed in. Um, everything was nice and tight to make sure there was no gaps left in between. And um, yeah, he's killing it right now. Here's a couple of messages exchanged from another fitness coach, Luke, who is actually my fitness coach, funny enough. But um, yeah, him just asking his own appointment setter if the advice that I gave him was helpful. And yeah, this is what he had to say. So he just made me be more creative on my approach and focus on qualifying. Having more genuine conversations before pitching has been key. And so, you know, this is the approach that you want to take if you don't want your appointment setting process to sound like a robot, right? Nobody wants to talk to an AI and that is what makes a 1% setter. That's the difference. Here's Caleb, who's in the first class setter program. Hey boys, wanted to share some good news to inspire you all. Sergio secured me my first interview, which I'm hoping leads to my first opportunity. Sergio just booked me an interview for my first appointment setting role. Let's ride this wave and see where it takes us. And he actually ended up uh, landing that role, which is funny enough. Um, this is actually a picture from that call that we took. He was just kind of explaining what, you know, he's about, where he's from, what his plans are. And yeah, got him onboarded and Kobe's about to start making some commission really soon. Cool. Now that we went through the actual case studies in itself, you guys know that I know what the hell I'm talking about. I want to kind of talk a little bit about myself, just the journey that I've been on, just to give you guys a little bit more context as to, you know, my story, what I went through and where I'm at now. Um, so funny enough, yeah, this is a picture for me. I don't even know the year, but this is when I used to work at Amazon. And this was around the time where I started really hating my life. And mainly it had nothing to do with, you know, any of these people on the screen, but there were other bosses behind the scenes that ultimately, yeah, just made me hate my life, made me hate going into work, uh, made me hate having to wake up early, report to somebody, be there 12 hours a day. It was horrible, right? And once I went through all that, um, you guys probably recognize the guy who's on the screen right here, but uh, obviously this is Iman. I, I hopped into one of his mentorships and you can see me in the corner right there, funny enough, I didn't even do my hair for the damn call. 
And yeah, I was just kind of spinning my tires, right? Of course, I was trying to get into the SMMA space and I was trying to build my own agency. But at the same time, it's like I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know what questions to ask because I knew nothing about it, right? It was just this fancy business model that apparently was really good for beginners to start. And ultimately, after going through that and realizing I need a little bit more help, maybe some more direct feedback. And so I ended up investing $5,000 that I didn't have into more feedback, more mentorship, more of a coaching type of feel. And this is a picture of me just going through some modules. Uh, we were staying at an Airbnb here. So, you know, I figured I'd go ahead and just kind of hammer out a bunch of content and just gain a bunch of more knowledge. And ultimately, this is what the result came out to be. My bank account legitimately looked like this. I'm not even kidding. I am so proud of this screenshot because of the difference as to where I was and where I'm at. But funny enough, this is exactly what it looked like. And honestly, it was kind of hard to really just understand that I needed to build some sort of a skill set because I had nothing to teach, right? The coaching program that I joined was meant to show me how to build a coaching business myself, but I had no skills. I had nothing to show for it. I had no value to provide to the marketplace whatsoever. And so ultimately now we're here, right? We can go back to, you know, the Stripe screenshot just as like a little bit of a closer, um, you know, just to kind of see where we're at now. It's very crazy. Um, I'm really glad I went through it all, but I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I did where I fell to the trap of feeling like I needed to immediately start a business to achieve the stuff that I wanted. Right, if I wanted location freedom or financial freedom, that I needed to go start an SMMA. But that was the lie that all of you were fed. And I don't blame you because I fell for the same damn thing. So with that being said, guys, I want to cover a little bit about who this video is actually for, because this isn't meant for everybody to watch. To be honest, it's probably not going to be that much of an entertaining video because it's very informative and action based oriented. Right. So. Yeah, this is for you if you're sick and tired of having to physically be somewhere to actually work, okay? You wanna be making more than 4K every single month or you have a boss that has a stick up his ass every single day. You'd rather be working on something that you know is going to serve you in the future on a Friday night rather than going out with friends. Or you've tried to start a business or an agency and it completely flopped kind of like mine did. And you want to be a part of a community of people that are not going to settle and you're ready for actual change. Now, I want to be transparent again, guys. This isn't for you. If you're lazy, you have no work ethic, you're entitled to results, or you have a victim mentality and you feel like everything bad just happens to you for whatever reason. Like you're just the unlucky person that gets all the negative stuff thrown at them. If you're not ready to dedicate six days a week into mastering a new high income skill, or if you're broke or you have no job, go fix that first. I'll be honest, guys, in order to get ahead in life, you're going to need to have some sort of stability as it is. So yeah, if you have no job, just click off of the video. Don't even watch the rest of this. Go fix that first and start stacking some cash. You're not willing to go the extra mile to make things work, or you just don't want financial or location freedom. So now that we have all of that clear, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I want to go ahead and explain a little bit as to what a high ticket offer actually is. And I try to make this as simple as possible. But basically, an offer is something that businesses have that help others achieve a certain outcome by providing them with a certain mechanism. I could give a little bit of an example here using like a dating coaching offer analogy, but essentially a dating coaching offer will help guys get more dates by using a secret Tinder strategy that people are not using. And I just made that up, right? I don't know if that's actually a thing, but that gives you a quick example as to what an offer actually is. And so these offers need attention. And how do they get attention is they use content that the algorithm will push organically to their profiles which is, you know, through TikTok, Instagram, whatever, or they use paid traffic is where they buy specific types of attention and they pay money for more eyeballs. OK, in my opinion, both are really good. I think paid advertising is the way to go. But nonetheless, they both still work. And moving on to the next one is conversations. So these businesses are using the messaging features to connect with potential customers, right? Or, or you can call them leads or prospects. And if they seem interested, they pitch a sales call at that point. Moving on to the next part would be the sales calls. And this is usually taken via Zoom. And its main purpose is to sell and close the lead, turning them into a client, 
right? And obviously that equals more money. And once clients are closed, this essentially just becomes a flywheel and then we just put more money into attention and everything gets more and more impactful. Now, out of these four core mechanics, where we fit in is going to be the conversations section, okay? As an appointment setter, this is our job. This is our role. All we have to do is simply have conversations with leads or prospects and just see if they seem interested, right? If they do, we pitch a sales call. If they don't, then we don't. But it's that simple. You literally do everything on your phone. You never have to show your face. You don't have to jump on a sales call. You don't have to worry about editing videos. No, all we're doing is sending messages that literally a monkey can do. Now, I want to go over why appointment setting and why not anything else. And to be completely honest, guys, this hits home for me because, again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I fell under the SMMA trap. And I'm glad it was just the SMMA trap and it wasn't any of these that I have listed here because I would have wasted money and that would have been even worse, right? Um, but let's start with SMMA, okay? Why not SMMA? And it's mainly because you need to learn all of these skills in a business you need to learn sales you need to learn how to market you need to learn how to deliver actual results you need to learn how to actually be a leader and learn how to hire and guide your people to perform right i know that's something that you know a, a lot of these gurus talk about is just hiring and not actually having to do the work but you need to actually do good work and that's that's what they don't talk about that's what they don't tell you they just tell you use economy arbitrage right that's just what they tell you but that's not the case right Let's move on to drop shipping. The problem with drop shipping is you need to know how to run paid ads. It's a skill in itself. You need to actually pay for those ads, right? Money won't just come out of thin air. Ads aren't free. You need to fulfill those orders. You need to provide customer support and you need to hire for that. And the list just keeps going on there, okay? Crypto, I'm not even gonna talk about crypto because I don't think anybody should be looking into it. If you don't already have an existing business giving you cash flow every single month to invest, right, consistently. And the reality is, is you can lose it all tomorrow. There's no predictability whatsoever. With coaching, it's the same thing as SMMA. With coaching, it's even worse because you need to know how to do the skill. At least in SMMA, you can go higher. But with coaching, no, you need to know how to do it. And that leads us to appointment setting. Why appointment setting? It's because it's such a low barrier to entry opportunity. Um, you can immediately start skill stacking, right? You don't need experience to go and find a role. You can be an expert in appointment setting in as little as two weeks, as long as you learn from the right person. But even you testing on your own is not going to take you that long to actually become an expert. Um, it's remote. You've got great commissions. The people that I work with and where I place them only have opportunities for 10% commission. I know like the industry standard is weird and they say, you know, we're supposed to get a base pay and 3%. I, I think that's bullshit to be honest. Like I want to be rewarded for the work that I put in, not on a base pay because that's the way that I've managed to earn $11,000, right? Through commissions only. I wasn't getting any base pay. And lastly, the most important guys is you get your foot in the door for the next opportunity. It does not stop at appointment setting, but this is the best route to take because none of these options right here, SMMA, dropshipping, crypto, are not going to open more doors for you. It's just gonna stress you out. You're gonna have to worry about learning a bunch of skills that you then have to teach others. And the list just keeps getting bigger and bigger. All right? I'm not gonna keep going. And so I wanna emphasize guys, like it's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault, like I mentioned earlier before. It's not your fault that you've been lied to by all of these big gurus to believe that it was in your best interest to get into any of these opportunities. Like how does that make sense? Like somebody actually tell me, how can you start an agency knowing nothing about marketing or sales or buying one marketing book and expecting to be an expert? You need those things to actually acquire clients, right? So instead, use someone who has it all figured out to start skill stacking, make failure impossible, because that's what happens when you get into a role where you can learn and earn at the same time. And I want to show you guys the journey on what it looks like to escape the nine to five. Okay, You start here. Right, you, you're stuck at a day job, you hate it. And the reality is, if you're working in a field that requires low level skills, then realistically, you're just gonna make two to 3K a month, okay? But the worst part is, is that it takes years to get promoted. You have no earning potential whatsoever. You have to work eight plus hours a day. You don't know what skill to learn because you're so fed up with your job, you don't even want to learn a skill, right? You just go home and eat Cheetos and watch TV. You have no experience with any other skills and you've never invested in yourself. Okay, so no wonder you're stuck at two to 3K a month. But all of that changes when you do learn a high value skill, when you put in that effort and make a decision to change, right? Your income goes up, 
and a bunch of other stuff on top of that. So we'll go ahead and cover those. First, your income, like I mentioned, five to eight K every single month. And this is actually the reality for me. Like that's usually where I'm at. I'm usually at six to eight K, right? You learn a high value skill. You get into an industry that has high demand. You have connections that can get you opportunities that aren't open to the public. You get to piggyback off of somebody else's success while you learn. You control how much you make. You have time freedom and you have location freedom. So I want you to pause the video and read between these two and tell me which one are you picking. If what I'm describing about the red circle sounds like your situation, why wouldn't you make the decision to go towards the blue circle? And I really want to emphasize to you guys that it's not about staying in the blue circle area. It's about leveling up after that. And what does that look like? 15 to 30,000 a month. And that's when you transition into a different position like remote sales, or you build a business with the new skills and the new network that you've acquired. There's tons of more earning potential and there's even more time and more freedom. So it's like, what, what more can you ask for? But this is the trajectory that you take. And to be completely honest, guys, like I am closer to the teal part of things. I am no longer stuck at the blue circle because I understood what route to take. I understood the importance of learning a skill, building a network, getting on a team, learning how to actually run a business. And the demand for this, guys, is unreal at this point. I get messages like this on a daily. Yo, bro, do you have a setter to recommend? Been traveling in Bali. Hard to keep up with messages on my own. Yo, Sergio, do you train DM setters? Hey, Sergio, what's up, bro? One of my clients is in desperate need of an appointment setter. Are you available to help her out? Hey, dude, I need a setter for a client. Can you help out? Yeah, bro, looking to bring in a US-based setter in the new year. So if you're even thinking about using the excuse of whether there is opportunity out there or not, just look at these messages that I get, okay? And this is only a fraction of them. And you might be thinking, I probably need experience to get started. Well, no, you don't. You just got to get the correct training and the correct connections to get you into a role. All of the guys that I showed you up above here had no experience being a setter, right? Caleb, super young, no experience, saw some content on YouTube, came to me. I trained him up. He's ready to go. Kobe, the same thing. I have another client. His name is Keith inside of the program who's about to land his first interview, has no experience, but is super motivated and super hungry. So you don't need experience or I don't have enough time. I only work about six hours a day, maybe four sometimes, and I still get commission checks coming through. And why that is, is because again, guys, I have the freedom to space out my work if I want. I could work at nine in the morning, go to the gym, come back, run through the messages for about an hour, take a little break, go have some lunch, come back, go for another hour. And it ultimately totals up to four to maybe six hours, but that's even spaced out throughout the day. So you guys can't tell me that you guys don't have enough time to at least spare four hours a day or that you need to know a lot about the online business space. And again, this could be further from the truth is you really just need to know about your own core offer, how it can help somebody and just pitch a sales call. That's pretty much it. I'm not good at talking to others and you won't have to, right? Vocally at least. Through text messages, you will, but you will be inheriting the conviction of the person that you're working with, their account, their profile, their character, not your own. It's too good to be true. It's it's really not. I mean, you're providing value. You're saving a business owner time and you're getting paid for it, right? If you look at any other job in the world, you will realize it's the same damn thing. The case is not everybody knows about the skill. It's relatively still new to the online business space, or it has to be way more complicated than that. And it's really not, guys. I've had conversations inside of the DMs that literally last me five minutes that ultimately resulted into me getting commission because of that. And I work with an $8,000 offer, right? So 10% commission of that for having a five minute conversation resulted in me getting paid $800. And so I wanna walk you guys through how to actually become an appointment setter, okay? First, you're gonna master the skill. And so you're gonna get familiar with what it looks like to send a bunch of messages, right? We're talking volume here. Then you're going to learn about follow up. You're going to learn about looping. You're going to learn about how to track leads and prospects. You're going to learn certain frameworks to use inside of your conversation, right? But ultimately, you want to master the skill. And then you want to find an offer, right? At a high ticket price point with predictable traffic, like really good organic content or paid advertising, right? And in my opinion, the paid ads is way better for appointment setting commission, right? And uh, you want to find somebody with client results, right? They actually have shown and proven that they can help somebody and they can make that change into somebody's life so we can leverage it inside of conversation. And lastly, once you land that role is you want to scale, right? You want to learn what it means to become a 1% setter. And that will essentially allow you to make six grand and above every single month. 
And then from there, you want to transition into sales or some other position that will allow you to grow as an entrepreneur. Or you can just learn and develop new skills during that time of being an appointment setter. And here, guys, is how to actually book in sales calls, right? Following this exact framework is going to lead to more booked calls. You want to start off with an introduction, right? Not being a complete weirdo. Just building the slightest amount of rapport. I swear I mean this can be like two messages, but you just want to act human and you want to show that you're not a bot. Okay. And then you want to pivot the conversation a little bit. Once you start pivoting the conversation is you want to qualify, right? How long have you been in the space, by the way? Oh, nice. Crushing it so far with that? Build ammunition to shoot for the pitch. And lastly, the pitch. Mention how we can easily help them get to where they want to be. We want to build some urgency and then we want to book them in. And that's literally all we have to do, right? This is the exact framework that you want to follow to book in qualified sales calls for the person that you're partnered with, which again will ultimately lead to 10% commission checks for you. And finally, guys, yeah, I wanna wrap it up with just talking about the coaching program called First Class Setter. Um, as you guys saw above, we have students in there who have already landed their interviews, they're already getting into roles. And if you are stuck in a nine to five and you want in on the appointment setting gold rush, then this is going to be for you. So first, we start with fixing the bottom of the pyramid, right? We start by dialing in the internal frame, making sure you have the mind of a 1% setter. And then just kind of going over some stuff that has worked for me, right? Kind of like biohacking. And then after we go into the meat and potatoes, which is we learn and we master the skill of appointment setting, right? So first of all, it's just no fluff. Everything very short, clear cut to the point. And uh, we work on the intros, the frameworks, how to pitch, follow-ups without sounding like a weirdo, knowing the offer like the back of your hand, which is the secret to being a really good setter, by the way, tracking, sending end-of-day reports, all of that jazz that you need to succeed. And then we're going to go over how to find and land high-ticket opportunities, right? Just optimizing the profile, where to find the best offers out there that nobody's looking at, video DMs, volume and accountability, interview preparation. And lastly, the most important one is first class center placement. So like I mentioned earlier, I do have a really big network of online coaches and business owners that are constantly looking for setters who are extremely hungry and ready to get going at a moment's notice. So this is an option as well inside of the first class setter program. And lastly, we go over scaling as a setter, right? Follow-ups and consistency becoming irreplaceable and then eventually leveling up. And I'll show you guys inside of the program what that looks like. That could be, again, remote sales, branching off with your own offer, et cetera, et cetera. And so our guarantee is that we guarantee you will land an appointment setting role within the four month period of this program, or I'm just gonna keep working alongside of you until you do. No one is going to be left behind inside of this program. And I wanna clarify, guys, it is my mission to get as many people out of the nine to five lie that we've been fed. So if you are serious about making real change, check the description down below and book in a call with myself so we can chat about how we can make that happen. And now that you guys know everything about appointment setting, I want you guys to really picture how different your life would be right now if you were an appointment setter. If you did make upwards of $4,000 every single month and you can go anywhere just needing this, your phone, how different would your life be compared to the current situation that you're in right now. If you have that image crystal clear in your head, then go ahead, like I mentioned, book that call and let's make that change happen today. I'll see you all in the next one.